Hello, this is a comparison between two high quality upright pianos recommended by tuners, technicians and teachers alike. The 4 122 is 122 centimetres high and a Yamaha U3H which is 130 centimetres high. Well, the first thing we can say is that the fall folds back here which makes the music sit more comfortably and also that there's a lip on the music uh, stand there. The uh, Yamaha fall doesn't fold back at all and therefore the music sits at a different angle and also there's no lip here, there's just a serrated bit. It does work well but uh, the forex is a little bit better. Here you see the music on the Yamaha. But more important than that is that the, the music stand is very thick, which means you can put book holders on. Uh, this is also a wooden music stand on the forex. The Yamaha music stand is made of plastic and it's too thin, you can't put book holders on if you want to. Book holders are really useful and essential if you have hymn books and uh, other thick books. By the way, if you're choosing a piano, then uh, it's worth thinking about these German traditional pianos, which are exceptional quality. We've prepared the music stand on this Bersendorf for Upright, uh, which has been bought by a church organist, and we've prepared it for putting the book holders on. Because it's polyester, you need to mask it off first so you don't damage the polyester. The most important features on the Forec is that it's weighted uh, like a grand piano and it's a little bit heavier on the touch, which is better for practicing. So that if you are then going to take exams on the grand, you're used to it. The Amos feels lighter. So as I say, there's a contrast when you go to play a grand piano. This is a new Kawaii grand piano and a very, very similar touch to the Foric. Having said that, grand pianos always have a better touch than an upright in the sense that they're lifting the hammer, uh, whereas in an upright you're throwing the hammer. There's another video about that. Now both the pianos have a Celeste which comes down to make, allow you for a practice pedal so that it's a, a Celeste that allows you to quieten for the practice. Now the Foric has a much more tuner friendly one. You can just literally pull it out with one hand from the middle there. Whereas the Yamaha, we have to undo this wing nut. Not really that important, but it just shows you it's got many features that are uh, tuner friendly. The, uh, another one is that on the Yamaha, you've got this plastic bolt and it has two washers there. That's a real nuisance when you're a tuner because you can off, you've got to prise these, these washers off. The Forex got a bolt like a traditional piano that just comes off, screws off like that. It's the same as on this Bersendorf, but the Bersendorf one obviously uh, is, is brass and there's high quality being uh, a really top range piano. The Forex has gone back to being much more traditional, all wooden parts there. All the Yamahas have, have a plastic jacks here. I was in two other plastic parts here. This, this is plastic, this capstan, and also this set-off button is plastic. See, the Forex has got brass capstans like a traditional piano, and also this is, this is wood as well. Everything's wood there. More importantly for the tuner, this is like a traditional piano. It's just wooden rods resting, and uh, if you look at the Yamaha, You've got these locators here and at the back, which are a pain, especially if you forget to put them in when you put the action in, and then you've got to take the action out again to put that in, whereas as on the Forex, the action just pulls in and out. Now, perhaps the most surprising difference, and certainly surprised me, because uh, I wondered why the Forex was so rich. The tone of the piano is so rich round here, compared to the Yamaha. I might say that the first reason is that the Forex has new strings, which are richer anyway. They, we do sometimes change the bass strings on Yamahas. If you want that, it costs about £600 more. We put top quality German strings on and they are actually quite an improvement. But the surprising truth is that the bass strings on the Forex are actually, on average, two centimetres longer than the, than the U3. And the Forex being a shorter piano, you think that's, that's, that's extraordinary. But the truth is that the, the, the angle, you see, is greater and that means the string length is greater. Now even on the bottom strings that are almost exactly the same length you get a richer sound on the Forex than you do on the Yamaha. Although down there they're comparable because the string length on the Yamaha is actually very slightly longer. But when you get to here, they're the same length and then they get shorter on the Yamaha and of course they're not going to the middle of the soundboard. So listening to Forex again, very similar but then they, they're longer strings by about three centimeters and they get to about four centimeters longer here. So a much richer tone in the tenor area. It still stays almost four centimeters longer. Listen to the Yamaha. And there's less, less in the bass section there. The Yamaha then crosses over. And in fact, these strings are slightly longer than the Forex, but they don't go to the center of the soundboard. The Forex strings go to a better part of the soundboard. And in fact, they sound just as rich. And then these strings here too. So it, it's a very well designed piano. Looking at the pedal trap, this is the Yamaha, which has aluminium and plastic here. 
and the foric no plastic in sight it's all traditional another important feature is that the legroom if you're tall this is very important the legroom is about 63 and a half centimeters on the foric and the Yamaha 62 and a half or just over 62 and a half Traditional pianos like this Richard Lip have even more legroom. This is nearly 64. So if you are tall, that would be better. And this Steingraber breaks all records. It's uh, 67 and a half. We do actually do a Kawai Upright K200, which is also has a lot of legroom. It's about 64, I think. If you do buy a piano from us, then we also sell top quality piano stools. These are Spanish made piano stools. That's a duet stool and a single simple piano stool. And we also do leather top piano stools. Something I forgot to mention is the Foric has a lid prop which uh, allows more volume, a bit like a grand piano, so you can just open up the volume a bit. So that's a comparison between two high quality upright pianos. A Yamaha U3H, which was made from 1972 to 1980, easily the longest run of all the Yamahas, and this is a, a reconditioned piano, although it wasn't very much used in the first place. So we, we have several of these in stock. And uh, a Foric 122, which is our favoured brand of new piano and it has some tremendous design features on it. So first of all let's listen to the tone of the Yamaha. Now the Feuerich. Thank you very much for listening.